All right, so we got this um, young owl. It's a great horned owl. Uh, it's just a baby. F fell out of the nest, I believe, and died. Um, just because I'm not going to have too many of these, this is the first time I'm receiving an owl in this size. So that means making a mold out of it and reproducing it out of um, a resin is going to be a waste of material and waste of time. So um, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how do I use uh, original skull when I decide to. Well, first of all, I like okay. Adam like case by case. It can all be different, but if there is nothing wrong and if there is anything um, based... So it is frozen, Basin. I guess. That's why I cannot inject. Yeah, it's pretty hard in there. It was out of, like, I just pulled it out of the freezer. Anyway, I can go from around here and inject it till it gets fully popped, like that. And before it deflates, you need to basically measure from back of the skull actually my other caliper works better because I've extended the arms like this is perfect for this work so from straight from back of the skull to the front of the eye just yeah. touching the sides of the eye you're looking at surprisingly 48 again and just to give you an idea back of the skull from around here we'll build up some walls in there and also around here to clean everything out okay I'm just gonna clean this up basically try to clean out any kind of meat that you see on the skull because we can easily into where the neck was attached. Make a little bit more, not a lot more, just a little bit more because I'm gonna pour some uh, borax or anything sticking to it and then dry it out and bring it back for more work. Also these little is that um, going to keep the eye sockets in good shape and the yeah you can see the right now set it aside for a few days while I'm working on other skulls and let it dry out and get harder and then we'll come at the end and then do the finishing touch up on it 